changing to a plastic pre-roller. I honestly really like it and let me explain like why. The horizontal bar. And so they, they can definitely make it taller. I feel like it would help a little bit more this year. All right, guys. So we're back with episode number seven of the yes. Robo Ratings. Let's go. I'm going to on 1629X, Liam 1082R, and Matt from 2654E. 2654E. And let's go. First up, Little Will, Haunted slash Early Season Robots. What are we thinking? From what I've seen, this robot has been built for a while, so I think a rebuild could be helpful. The wall stake mech we've seen not as efficient mm -hmm. compared to like a redirect or now Charlie Brown or Charlie No Lady, Lady Brown. Brown. Lady Charlie Brown. Brown. <laughs> um so I definitely think a rebuild could be helpful. Yes, yes. I agree with you there. Yes, and also their pre-roller looks like it's sticking out pretty far. So that's something I personally have dealt with where I ran straight into our E-team and, and been to our pre-roller. So that's something to look out for. You know, talking a little bit about pre-rollers, what are your thoughts on, like, the new Sammy? And, like, I think a couple people are, like, adapting, are, like, changing to a plastic pre-roller. Here, let me... I honestly really like it, and let me explain like why. Because I feel like if you have like a one by one or even C channel pre roller on a screw joint, right? If it gets hit, if it's like built like this, right? If it gets hit, then the whole thing will tilt, and and it'll be out of shape for the rest of the match, right? Until you bend it back later, right? It's gonna really increase friction and make your and sometimes even completely uh, make the intake not work. But however, if you have it on a Lexan piece, right? If it gets bent, it's only gonna like tilt and then bend back. Because there's that like amount of give, right? There's that amount of like leeway you have with plastic, and especially uh, with like a like a very malleable plastic that has the ability to bend back under certain like under honestly a lot of defense still, unless it doesn't like unless it snaps, right? Which is you know of course a risk yeah. you have to take. If it doesn't snap, then it'll bend back. And honestly, I really like that. One thing you could have, so you don't have to do uh lex then and have the risk of it cracking is you can have it more in and use triangle bracing on the pre-roller yes that's true that's what i've seen xrp do i think i'm gonna give this i think i'm gonna, our, I'm gonna start start it off with the seats here oops uh, our e-team does the triangle bracing they just do it with plastic and it works pretty well. yes i did i also saw that on xrp spot i like that i guess they copy the oh uh, yeah uh, yeah Eight Gotta nine be. eight one nine eight eight e ten eight two e right same thing you said the same thing twice uh, yep and we have we have we have this my first thought when seeing this robot is over under just because it looks exactly like an over under <laughs> robot except for those two vertical C channels in the back <laughs> yeah it's kind of funny I I think you know I think it's pretty nice I think we got honestly I was surprised of how fast this pulled it pulled pulled the ring in because I know a lot of teams are struggling with. Especially the pre-roller, right? And looking at this angle, this this piece is so so tilted. It's so so like that's a very high high angle, right? And I feel like I didn't expect that this to work so well, but it proved me wrong. Yeah, one thing they could improve is it bounces a little at the start, but overall, it's a pretty good design. Yeah, I mean they can also uh, tilt the. Um uh bring up more into the ground and so that way it's like a more a cleaner angle change and then that'll help mm -hmm. the consistency yeah i mean they're they're running this at 20 uh at 1200 so it's running very quick very fast so i don't know how because if this is going to be a one motor intake well, one motor intake kind of thing right i don't know how strong it will be for the other layers because just because getting that ring in and all that movements and redirecting kind of like increases friction and also makes some mostly you might need some more torque so i'm not too sure a counter roller will mm -hmm. will help with that a counter roller a counter roller yeah i think i'm gonna give this a b tier it looks pretty nice i think i think it can be very fast i don't really There's have not much, much of experience a robot, yeah. there is not much of a robot but it's the it's where it's going that counts yes the i see the vision progress is being made no wheels though it has a so, brain no wheels no wheels and that the one thing i noticed the about the brain spot. yeah whoa it's like a spider it's brain. also attached by four standoffs which is interesting 
Yeah, I think I don't know how to feel about that. Oops. I, I think, think I'm you can just mount tier. it on that C channel that it's it's mounted like you have your two bar mounted on. You could probably just get away with two screws on the the brain and then yeah. Although we do, I although I get the seats here, I really want to see how how the double side like the raise hook system will work. So please keep us updated. I think we'll definitely a team raise had it at the. Mall. Really? Especially once yeah. you get some wheels on that drive, we'd love to see it. Yeah, we would love to see it with some with some wheels. Actually, no, don't don't do wheels. Send us a video of it driving with the gears. Yes. It's yes. an S tier. This is clean. Yeah. This is really clean. Mm, nice. Although they lost the Ace and 360X, that's 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 pretty. That's okay. Like, that's okay. I'm it still giving this an S tier. Uh, yeah, I love how this robot looks. The one thing on the right, it looks like they're still using uh, Sammy's design for the wall stake mech. So I'm not sure if they should update that or if that's something else. Uh, yeah, that might. Like can, they can probably change yeah, no, that. that's definitely what it is. Right. You know, a redirect, a hood redirect. What do you guys think? Maybe that. Uh, hood? that's what Maybe. we're doing. I, I would say hood redirect probably. Especially 8889A at Lobster Bowl, 99%. They did really well with a hood redirect. And they were yeah, able to... until, until an event that we will not speak of. <laughs> spoke of it. And we have... What team? I can't really tell the team number. Oh, 74. Oh, 74. Why, I think. Very, very clean. This is very, very purple. The theme, right? Going for a purple theme. I like... I on, This is going to be... You know, actually, one thing before I rate it, I'm gonna look at the the distance on the the wall stake mech. I think that's a that's a good distance. I think it's not super super long. I think it's a I think it's a little bit longer than I would want it. I think the earlier bot that we saw right where it was a, I think it was a, around an, an inch, maybe an mm -hmm. inch further in. I think that's the, the perfect spot. That's the gold golden spot. I think this is yeah, like a, and it looks like. Out. It looks like where they mounted it, um, it looks like it's lower than 16.1235, which is the height of the um, the horizontal bar. And so they, they can definitely make it taller, and in doing so, they would make it more flush with the robot. Yeah, that's one thing they can do. I like I like this a lot, you know? this is It does have a here. doinker mac, I noticed. Yeah. So. Instant S tier. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think although the, the this is a little little concerning right i feel like if it's if it played well it also it, lo it, it looks pretty built it looks built pretty strong right it makes it it's made out of c channels it's triangle braced even so i'm giving this an s tier i think it's it not that much because it is such a short drive base it looks like 25 or poles or something like that and in order to get the height they need they need to have that long of lift. yeah i think mm -hmm. i agree with you there and also you know putting the gears on the outside let's see all the china drive there, china drive yeah. yep and four inch wheels and four inch wheels i don't know how really four inch wheels play this season i don't think they're they're barrier there's crossing. an advantage for them this season so barrier crossing <laughs> there's no barrier less, less weight less oh, weight the think rain. about it instead of instead of four 2.75 or 3.25 wheels what's lighter two four inch wheels which also you have less acceleration you know i'd still go with a, a 2.75 wheel drive i would oh. agree yeah. Or 2.75. You are one. not 74074Y. That's true. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, you know, one thing I do is... I do I think like is it. that... Brain the brain placement is good, but however, I don't know if there's like a really like a... A guider for that... For the goals. You don't really need one that much. That's true, you, that's true. It's pretty useful, I would say. Yeah, same. I'd say that too. But I'll anyways. Like, just get good at driving. <laughs> That's so true. Hey, why didn't you guys win a uh, lobster bowl then? Because I wasn't I good at go. driving. Oh, and our go. all time bro. It was our all time bro. I didn't go to lobster bowl. We have uh, Retro Cobra's bike. Yes. It's like, you know, this is nice. I like this. Honestly, he what does do you say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is not his bot, so. Uh, oh, so it's his bot. Okay. What do y'all yeah, think yeah, about very nice counter rollers on the bottom? I like counter rollers on the bottom. I Do you guys feel like it's going to be better than a... Do you think there's going to be a significant improvement for counter rollers um, over the... On the bottom? Mm -hmm. Well, like, 
I think it's similar to uh, Ace did it? this. Ace, Ace did this on their um, whichever one, the one they had the passive A tier. Yeah. And, and I, I mean, based on them not using it ever again, I would say it's probably not that useful. But the this year, I mean, it is more. I feel like it would help a little bit more this year. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it helps you have a more steep ramp. I think the only reason you wouldn't want to add it is just if you are running a 11 watt intake and it's too much friction. Wait, yeah. what are those circles like on? On a low strength high draft, strength I think. Axle. High strength axle? I no, it looks cool. like high strength. So yeah. that yeah. does add that some weight. Like a, that's like a lot of weight. I feel like the like benefit you get doesn't outweigh like that. Use a it spinning doesn't justify standard. the weight, I don't think. I mean, to be granted, if you need uh, bracing there, that could help. But if you don't need any bracing, it's just extra weight. Yeah, how, I'm looking at the thread right now, and, and Ethan said that in, in his opinion is really good and this is a nice way to ensure quick pickup i don't know if you guys like this design you guys can give it a test and let us know what you guys what you guys think yeah leave it down below in the comments and like and subscribe ring the bell yeah and i think that's that's Send all the we video have to your parents for today and thank you guys join the discord yes Follow the Instagram. We're like 700 members now. Very nice. Yes.